<laughs> you, you want to know what's stupid about this backpack? What? It, it only has one water bottle holder on one side. Yeah. I don't know, maybe that's a common thing that's happening with backpacks because the... Was there a train gonna go by? Is that a train? Yeah. Do we want to go see it? Well, you can see it right there. Oh, you can see it right there? Yeah, that's a train. It comes like a fucking Yo. Uh, a steam. Steam. The down. Yeah, I want to see if we get... Yeah, we got a good angle on that train. Well, there's cars over there. I say there'd be two different things. Oh, Ooh, it's cold. Yeah. I know, right? Ooh, wait, do you think we could... Like go this way to see it. There it is. Yo. Ah, I don't think that goes around. Regular train. Yo, why you stopping? Uh -oh. Oh, Unless you want to watch the whole train, we can get oh, going. Oh, we can go on again. Uh, uh, it's a passenger, okay. passenger it's train. The, uh, it's the old yeah, no, the, uh, train uh, Yo, should we go train hopping, bro? <laughs> <laughs> So we got one trail going left, or well, multiple trails so going we left. We are here. We can so yeah, that is. This is basically the trail, I think. Yeah, because it says keep out that way. Yeah, yeah, first, first gate, gate keep out. So yeah, we're gonna go up that way. Second gate. Second. Yeah, railroad trails for access only. No hunting until past second gate. You don't think anyone's gonna be hunting? No. Uh, maybe. maybe. maybe again. Uh, we could take our chances. Yeah, and the reviews don't say anything. I have one bandage on me, so we could stop one single I mean, gunshot wound. Blue. I mean, I, I don't know no deer that looks like a blue. <laughs> bro, those are the blue raspberry right, flavored yeah. deer, bro. The best flavored deer. deer. <laughs> Somebody was literally here, uh, like, six days ago. Ah, we're oh, yeah. fine. Then somebody was here uh, on the 19th of September, so, yeah, there are definitely people coming on here, so, yeah. but then again, maybe they're just as stupid as we are. Yeah. <laughs> and they're hiking in the park, so where you? During hunting season. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, we're scaring all the deer anyway. Yeah. No one's gonna want to hunt. But um, yeah, no, I think maybe it's like more becoming more common of just having one water bottle holder because like the backpack that I got only yeah, has like one. Usually, I mean, if you're gonna have a backpack for like that kind of backpack for like school and shit, when are you ever gonna carry more than one bottle? That's fair. But then again, I mean, like, but well, like people use it for like other stuff yeah. too. Yeah. Like, 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 like usually. People have a second, the, the second one's there just because if, you know, if it's not there, then it's just waste of space. Yeah. You're like, why not have it then? Yeah. So yeah, I decided on the uh, the four class MP100. Yeah, yeah, the, that the backpack you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The one, the one with the orange strap, like yeah. the big central. Group. That one looked when I was looking at them. I didn't look at the specs that much. I was uh -huh. just looking at pictures, but. 
That one specifically when the picture is it looks pretty rugged, you know, it looks in um, pretty um, good condition. I think the first one you were looking at looked a little bit on the cheaper end. Yeah. Or, well, do you mean like the alternative? Because that was the first link. Yeah. Then I sent the MT900, which was had two wa regular water bottle holders and it was like green or something. Yeah. And then there was a third one that was like a travel one, and I was like, eh. Travel one's probably less rugged than like the trekking one. Yeah. So he, he ordered it. Uh, so apparently I was looking at the UK site. Oh, so because yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Because I looked at prices and I was like, so I I, I thought it. I, yeah, well I thought it just defaulted to that and then it would like adjust when you go to check out. My mom was checking out and it was like. Uh, no, the United States didn't show up as a delivery option. Oh. So we were like, uh-oh, can we not buy from here? But I just had to look up <laughs> Decathlon US. USA yeah. and yeah, I found it there. It was a little buried in the search results, which is weird. Yeah. I had to scroll down a bit. But yeah. So I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. Hopefully so wait, it won't the, the other backpack, the problem was what? That it was the camo one? Yeah. So, the... so yeah, um, so you see like on these shoulder straps that yeah. has like this webbing on the side? It had really thick webbing and it was so the, it was really tough hard webbing yeah. that it was rubbing against my chest when yeah, I was walking. Yeah, yeah. One, that was the first time you tried it out when we yeah. pants. Yeah, so that one, like, I, I like the idea of the backpack. It sucks it didn't have any water bottle holders. Yeah. But, like, the webbing, it was just, I would have to wear, like, a sweatshirt or something. Yeah. Um, so this one, I didn't see as thick webbing. <clears throat> Plus, it's got a few more features that I like better. The roll top, I thought I would like the roll top. I actually hate it. Yeah. It's so annoying having to unroll just to go inside of it for something quick. Whereas like this one, it has like the, the two way vertical zip, so I could just quickly zip. Yeah. Take. yeah. So I, I think that was a good call on your first talk about that, that central zipper. Well, they all had, um, I think most, if not, yeah, all of the ones that you, you put on there, I think one of the, the full black ones had the one that's on like the back portion yeah like where your back is that one had the zipper on the inner and on the outer for like the full thing so yeah no matter where you opened it you can get everything inside but i mean you know anyway, it's probably a good idea to try out that backpack that either you go on another hike after you get that backpack or yeah try it out because then you can like then I can return, yeah, return it if I don't it, want yeah. it. Yeah, was yeah it, definitely. Was it you not, not being able to return the... Yeah, I, so they don't have American return oh. system yet. They have returning in other, like, yeah, yeah. more local places, but... Yeah, they said they, they haven't yet. So I think they're planning on opening American return later, but just not now. So you can probably see it, like, once the time comes up, so they actually put... Yeah, maybe. You must return to me, like, you know, I was gonna return this, but I couldn't. Within you know. a 30 day return policy, if you guys had it here, but like, are you still willing to take it? Yeah. Like, I didn't, it's not been used, it's only been used once. Yeah. And like, maybe, cause like, I, I do stuff. know that um, if you give it back, they have like a, a Kirto recycle thingy where you get store credit. You don't necessarily get like let's say you're past the return window yeah. and you return it used you can get store credit yeah. which i, I could just that. do that yeah because i mean then you can just trade it off to get like because i know you like the, the shirts and the yeah over there and they have a bunch of other stuff on the website yeah they have a, they have a, a jacket that i want it's a um so it's not a waterproof jacket it's more water resistant mostly because it's like a field jacket. it's a it's a cotton canvas. It has a hood and it's got like like hand pockets and then like chest pockets. Yeah. Um, <coughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh, yeah. 
I, I might just pop up my sweatshirt, bro. Yeah, I was looking. A mountain trail. You know? Yeah. I mean, we're on the, the right road. So. Going off of reviews doesn't mean specifically that there's people yeah. here any other time, but the 16th. Yeah, Moose River Mountain is what uh, this guy put. Yeah, a lot of people. Moose River Mountain, Moose River Mountain, Moose River Mountain. East Pond sucks. <laughs> Two days. What do you plan to go or what route will it take? Two days! Hey, they're just camping. I mean, that makes bro. sense. They're camping. Miss a goal. Even if I do end up losing a service, I have it here. Hmm. I mean, basically, it's just a straight shot. So we just gotta stay on Big Otter Lake Trail, I guess, until we get to a a fork in the road, and then we want to take the leftmost okay. part of the fork. So that'll go up to the mountain. If we kept on that, <coughs> kept going on the right. I think that ends up going to. Otter Lake. But it's just funny how, like, I mean, it's not, I guess, that surprising because most of the stuff is pretty close together, seeing as we usually go about an hour into the Adirondacks and then do a trail because yeah. know, we did Middle Solomon Road and that's right here. Yeah. Well, dude, uh, one of these days we're gonna exhaust all the trails in the Black well, River there's Wild Forest. There's a lot of, like, funny enough. I've been usually just checking around the same general area every time, but there is like there is quite there's some a lot. not even just like 20 minutes up farther north, mm -hmm. like a little bit past Old Forge, and then fuck, you got all the uh, like probably smaller or shorter mountain hikes for the Catskills too. Yeah, it's just the Catskills is like it's a two-hour drive instead of you know yeah. a normal one, but I mean, that that'll usually be. Um, multi day hike probably mm -hmm. or a camping trip is well good going down there would be for yeah man one of these days i want to start doing the peaks but like well number one is time yeah and number two it's like they're a little advanced or yeah. or a lot advanced depending on the I mean, it, it really depends on what kind of do you know? yeah <laughs> okay thank you um I don't know if it's JJ said it was JJ that said that they were doing it, but mm. I it was Dan. Probably JJ. They're um for his college apparently they're doing a um either so with some of his friends right now or some of his friends are like, you know, hey you wanna do a mountain hike and they were like, yeah, sure. Yeah, JJ mentioned that he yeah. was doing that today. I don't remember which one they were specifically doing but Mm. Yeah, I'm saying he's doing that. Cause like, yeah, one one mountain shouldn't be that big of a deal. Cause I mean, not that high of mileage. I mean, it's basically the same distance that we're doing right now. It's just the elevation gain, such yeah. a high margin difference. Yeah. And like, from what I hear from uh, our contractors, yeah, yeah uh, that now granted he. Uh, He's been doing it for a while. Well, yeah, he's been doing it for a while, but he's also, uh, I don't know, let's say clumsy and like disorganized. Yeah. So like, you know, take that as you will. He's like, he was saying that, you know, like he he did one and he was like, yeah, it was very dangerous. You could have died. <laughs> you know, I'm like, thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. But I don't know, maybe we can look for some mountains uh like we could start getting a couple uh peaks lined peaks up down what this uh coming up summer yeah that's what i'm thinking yeah like spring or summer yeah 
I think it would be really cool to do that on a that straight shot 170 miles across, across the, the Adirondack. Yeah, yeah, that that would be really like, cool. Technically, you really could do, uh, and, and it would be a really good idea for a video because you can just be like, you know, we're taking inspiration from Geowizard over in uh, yep. over in England. Walking across the Adirondack. Well, yeah, not, not a straight line, you know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if we walked in straight lines, we'd be looking at the map longer than he looks through that fucking one with whales and shit. Dude, we we would have been like rock climbing and yeah. stuff. We would have had to like. Because well, you know how he does that shit in the videos. Like he's he's planning lines like, yeah. all the time. Yeah. And it takes like months to get a line actually in, in progress because he's yeah. got to check and then he goes to the location to check like, okay, so I'm going to be going down here. Uh-huh. And he's like, you know, so elevation's not that bad. And then what ends up happening is he ends up going, and then he's like, oh, I didn't, didn't, I, I forgot didn't about that. See about it. I didn't see this when we came over to. Check. Yeah, just like it was like what, like a waist high swamp yeah, or something. Yeah, the, the the swamp bog. Yeah. It was like, oh, it looks pretty flat on the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Where'd that come from? <laughs> But I mean, like, yeah, if you technically do a full straight line, all we would have to do is start a little bit farther. Because mm. the, the trail starts, I think, right in Old Forage. Uh -huh. And I think I, I was looking on the map. There is a trail that you can probably walk. Because, like, how I'm thinking about <laughs> doing it is starting where the green starts because like technically the entire green area is the Adirondacks yeah I, mean, I guess it's really up to people whether or how they look at it is like oh you know the Adirondacks start when the, like, the trees change like that well, I'm going off the map yeah and all trails and the all trails map shows that green outline which is the Adirondacks so like there was a trail that ends up getting pretty close i think it probably is maybe even would be walking on this maybe because uh -huh. you just i was finding like i didn't want to walk on main roads for a good portion of it because uh -huh. you are going to leave some parts of it but yeah not as much but just walk through some undefined trails that do end up connecting to each other mm -hmm. And then you'd end up over the old forge, and then you'd walk through the probably beautiful forge, and you'd start on the starting line that they stay on all trails. Yeah, and then just hop over Yeah, and it shouldn't take extremely long to do it either. Yeah. I mean, it's 172 miles, yeah, in 60, 60 hours, so at most it'll take about Three a, it'll be like a week. Yeah. Hours, yeah. So. yeah. So like, and also something else we got to do is cranberry fifty. I know, cranberry fifty. Yeah, but cranberry I fifties would be a lot easier. Yeah, I, I'd say like start with that. Like, yeah. we we gotta like actually set in stone when we're gonna do that. I mean, we, we can really say can like ah when. summer. Yeah. But it's like when in the summer. Yeah. It's just a, it's just like you said earlier, time because that yeah. is gonna be a three day at least. Yeah. And like Evan might be, well, Evan's graduating this year, right? Uh, yeah, because last yeah. day, this would be the, uh... Um, because this is my sister's senior year. Yeah. So, yeah, same, yeah, same time, so... Yeah, because if he's at a four-year program, yeah, they just, he just finished up his third year before summer, hit, and this right. is, yeah, this is his fourth year right now. Yeah, so... Maybe he'll have time to do it. I, I was gonna say, oh, he'll probably have summer classes, but not if he's graduated. Yeah. I mean, based on what he was saying when we were um, doing the cars before, he was thinking about going into like teaching and shit. Mm. So, I mean, I don't know if he's gonna go for a master's, master's probably. How he's gonna do it? Because he's in environmental science. Yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, I think so, and I think he was also doing like chemistry. Yeah, I remember because like the reason I think it's environmental science is because like, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, classes could have things that seem like they are from that uh -huh. major. There's a lot of overlap. Yeah, but, but yeah. I'm thinking like the, when he was checking out like, oh, the uh, the effects of like fishing and people like dropping their baits and stuff and the invasive yeah. worms and stuff like that. 
and then uh, the deer thing that he was doing, and then the pond, mm. pond uh, tests that he was doing for yeah, for a test or something. But yeah, I, I think it's good that uh, we have a bit of time between Cranberry 50, so like. I can actually get my gear in order of what precisely I want to use. Yeah. Because technically I don't have a backpack I want to use. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta find out, yeah, if we want that backpack or not. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of time because you got all of winter. Yep. We're doing it then. I mean, we're not gonna be camping in the winter, yeah, but no. we could hike. Yeah. Like maybe yeah, backpack. Yeah, we hiked in the winter and stuff yeah. before. It's just a matter it of just like, sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's just. I'm also with that too because yeah because you're it, working no well that I'm talking about like no because yeah when we were trying to do hikes with Riley we could barely ever do one because like oh it's rain or it's snow a snowstorm and then yeah. it was fucking cold too cold yeah and the roads are too icy and stuff like that yep but I mean like we're pretty ready for cranberry I think because I mean like even in the end if we're not up to shape yeah we'll just go slow yeah we'll just end up you say that, that we could get injured, but um, yeah, I mean, we're young. Yeah, I mean, worst thing that can happen, I guess, is if if you like you sprain something. Yeah. But then again, that can happen even if you're not. Yeah, that can happen to anyone. Shape. Yeah, yeah. So. Like, I'd say at worst we just get blisters and then yeah. we take yeah. a day off or something. No, I didn't get any blisters in the two days that we were doing the hike and we did yeah. camping. But then again, we're only like just three days. So. Yeah. Well, the next thing is like getting food and stuff in order. I mean, I was thinking just like, like I think you were talking about when we usually talk about this is like, yeah, snacks like nuts and trail mix and shit. But then like just get mountain houses because most yeah. of the time they're on rollback at in Walmart. So. Yeah, mountain houses and like ramen yeah. if you're if you are not bringing that that spicy. Yeah. <laughs> if you're palatable. Or, or yeah. You're gonna definitely need that sodium. Yeah. From the fucking ramen. Yeah, cause it's like, sure, ramen is very unhealthy if you eat it regularly. Yeah. But like, but we're gonna be sweating all the salt out. Yeah. So it balances, hopefully. <coughs> yeah. Plus, we're, we're not gonna be we're probably not gonna be eating that much anyway, cause you're yeah. gonna have to taste out your food. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I mean, what what I found when I did the Grand Canyon was I wasn't hungry the first day or two, the day but then yeah, yeah, but then I got really hungry the second half of the trip, like the last couple days. But since we're only doing three days on that estimated, yeah, then three days we might not be as hungry probably as like we four expect. days at the most, most likely because yeah. I plus we I... have that like that restaurant waffle house thing yeah if it's open and yeah i mean it should be i don't know if it's closed yeah <coughs> but i mean like cause it'll take at least three days but I mean, chances are nearing the end i mean yeah you'll be tired but you're gonna have a more of a drive to be like you know we're almost done with this yep like you know yeah we got 15 miles but if we fucking keep going if we get done today we yeah. could go home because like also like the whole like tiredness spectrum is like yeah first day you're good second day you start you feel it yeah third day usually you get better because your body is like oh yeah you know, we're, we're still doing this so yes yeah, this is the new lifestyle yeah so, for now yeah but yeah i mean i'm not worried about it this i'd the say this yeah it don't yeah. take however long it takes I mean, there's nothing you can do about mm -hmm. it Campsite. Yeah. Hey, this is an idea for a camping trip, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like super short to walk in, but we could just well, like I mean, walk down. Technically, it. we're doing about the same amount of miles we did when we did wood uh, haul. So mm. I mean, yeah, we could just we could do this as a as a backpacking trip. Yeah. Although, in the summer. We're not gonna want to be next to this thing. No. So I mean, we were near. I mean, they are landing. This is not. This is stagnant lake. Yeah. The swamp. Yeah. 
the water. Thank God for those boards. Yep. Oh man, the reason why it's a I dam. look at all the beaver dam. Yeah. So usually there's probably not that much water in here. Huh. It well, it's kind of preventing this whole area from being flooded though. I mean, maybe like taking down part of that to yeah, get well, it. To flood. The water is coming down here, so if they got rid of that dam, yes, then it, it, it would flood. flow underneath yeah. though, because there was a river there. Well, I'm saying, like, the water would definitely drop. Yeah. Obviously, once the, the, the dude, dam it, is gone. Dude, it's so close to overflowing. I just want to watch it collapse, man. <laughs> it's, like, right there. Yeah, because you can even see, like, that's where it's usually supposed to be. You know? Yeah, like, you can see all the, the wet in there. Yeah. Well, it's even lower than that. That's just, I mean, obviously, that means that this dam has probably been here for at least a couple seasons. So this, yeah. this beaver dam is pretty old. So then the grass has been able to grow up. Yeah. High enough. Huh. I mean, yeah, you can see, like, it probably does reach that height over here. But maybe they, they maybe, maybe that's the dam man. over there was the first one. And then they extended it over here. Because it looks like the water would be at the height it is right there. Yeah, that would here. be flooding this yeah. whole area. So yeah, maybe that's just there to stop it from flooding. But yeah. if it, let's just say it was lower because it all flowed out, yeah. then wouldn't it just be just a, a river flowing through? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is this is um this high because of all the rain that we've been getting, and mm. since that dam has been there for such a long time, I'm assuming it's been there for a while. Yeah. Hell, you can even see the yeah the, the beaver shoe marks from them. From huh. them. Listen, that's definitely a beaver dam. Though. Yeah. Maybe it was a flowing river that became oh, yeah. that. That is yeah. probably a, a river. I mean, it, it's probably not like extremely small or anything like that, but uh -huh. it looks a lot bigger because of the, yeah. the dam. So they, 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 those, those reviews were wrong. They don't, I guess they don't really, they're not really been servicing up this trail as much because usually they'll, um, you get rid of those dams if they start becoming a nuisance. Yeah. But then again, I, I don't know how... I don't know how New York deals with, um... Like, you know, beavers... Yeah, and, like, I know you're not allowed things. to, like, kill beavers and stuff. Or, at least I think. Yeah, probably so. not. I mean, Because you can see a, you can see the beaver, uh, know. beaver trail. Yeah. Usually, they don't really... I mean, I guess it depends on where you're from. Uh -huh. Usually they don't kill the beavers. I mean, there's a YouTuber uh, post time and he does like um, uh, drain unclogging, like street yeah. drains and shit like that. Uh -huh. And some of the videos he's talking about, like you know, all oh, the beavers. And I, I, he's not from here, but like, he's like uh -huh. close maybe. He he went to um, the old uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Tunnel, uh, turnpike tunnel uh -huh. that they, they put out of commission after they built a the new highway above it. But in, like some of the videos, I remember him saying, usually, yeah, no, they, usually they don't kill the beavers, at least where he's from. They usually relocate them to somewhere mm -hmm. else and then they get rid of the dams. Uh huh. Because, you know, obviously. If that's backed up, that means up the stream's backed up. And, yeah. you know, if there's any towns or anything like that, it could potentially cause problems. Yeah. Especially if there's, like, certain areas that are more prone to flooding and you know, infrastructure. Yeah. But this isn't, like, extremely close to the main roads or anything like that. This is, like, deeper. So I guess it, it makes sense why they're still there. They're not causing that much... Problems, Damage, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. As far as I know, I mean, they could be for all I know. Yeah.
Oh yeah, that, that uh, Lucian who I play Minecraft with, he uh, he plays SnowRunner on the Xbox. Yeah. So he's like, hey, I want I want to start playing SnowRunner eventually. I'm like, hey, I I know a guy who plays SnowRunner sometimes. Yeah. So, so maybe one of these is he days. Far in the game, or? Uh, he's a good way into the game. He has a few DLCs as well. He's like way farther than me. So yeah. You know. I mean, he's got DLCs, he's probably finished all of the, maybe all of the, the base, at least most likely the entire U.S. of... Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, we're pretty, pretty far, I mean, I don't, well, yeah, it's in your state, so you should be fine. Mm. I just hope that the game is cloud saved. Hmm. Because I might not have my saved progress if it's not. Well, I also reset my computer, so... Oh, yeah, did you... Well, have you played it recently? No. Yeah, I think. So, I don't know. We'll have to check. I mean, even if it's not cloud saved, but sometimes... Well, I mean, now yeah, before... Steam Cloud was integrated. There was games that were cloud saveable even before them. Like, Rari, Rari was cloud saveable for them. And it, it might just be account-based uh, cloud saves, you know, because like when when you come to my world, it's based off your account of your stuff. Yeah. So maybe it's like, it may not keep the map progress, but maybe. it may keep the other progress. I don't know. Something like that. I also got to get moving on those uh, American Truck Simulator achievements. Yeah. Uh, it made some progress coming out. Yeah, I like how they. I mean, I guess because there are people that play American Truck Simulator that are from Europe, just like how there's people in America that play Euro Truck. You know, uh -huh. but it's just it's it's funny how they did the tease of like you know what map are we making next, and it's just a fucking high rise concrete bridge over like a swampy area. It's like wow, that's I very wonder. telling. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it also helps that, you know, I, I used to play fucking uh, Left 4 Dead and there's a couple maps that are in, in Louisiana and I'm like, literally, I remember looking at the photo and like the, the keys and I was like, man, that looks just like Left 4 Dead in areas, right? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, so that's probably Louisiana. So then I looked up like what, where each campaign for Left 4 Dead takes place and there are yeah, two maps. For uh, Left 4 Dead 2's uh, set of characters that are in Louisiana. Swamp Fever and then uh, The Parish. Yeah. Well, I was going to say the opposite. I was going to say there's no way to know because America has all sorts of swamps around. Yeah. But it's uh, like Louisiana is very easy to tell because, I mean, they have road infrastructure over... Mm. The big, because like they have very large sections mm -hmm. of swamp. Because they're so close to the, yeah, you know, south and the southern border uh -huh. of the U.S. Yeah, whereas in New York, can't even go near a swamp without, like, because it's protected. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. There ain't no roads gonna be over or anything like that. Yeah. So you can have fucking tractor trailers. Two set the concrete roads going straight over the fucking thing. <laughs> Very common. <clears throat> oh yeah, I can't I can't find any of like the uh Pocatella to uh Idaho Falls. I can't get that yeah. one. And, and, and like I know they, they refresh, the jobs refresh every time you take a new job or maybe every day that goes by uh -huh. or every week that goes by in game. Yeah. I think it's every day uh -huh. or every job. Yeah. yeah, I can't find that and then I can't find um, whatever the one is, like the first one I think. Mm. I think it's Kenwick yeah. or somewhere to Kenwick. Uh -huh. I, I haven't been able to find that one either. But I, I did end up redoing, or yeah, I ended up doing the uh, Twin Falls to Pocatello, I think. Mm. Or Twin Falls to Boys, I think it was Twin Falls to Boys. Yeah. 
Yeah, like there, I've had trouble trying to find the uh, the wind turbine pieces going they, to so there is Denver. An easy way to do that. So there, you can filter based on job. Oh, I I do, but and I'm saying like none? it doesn't show up yeah. at all. I was lucky to find the ones that go to Denver. Yeah. Like that was after checking so like think, yeah, six I, or that, seven times. I think it's just a matter of like, you just gotta keep checking. Yeah. That's what I end up doing this kind of thing. Yeah, like, like I, after I, a job, I'll check if like, you know, if I find anything that is like either some type of towel, Idaho Falls, or Idaho Falls, the first towel. Yeah. Like that's what I would do. I would check for the wind turbine things. And if nothing, then I just go do a different job. Like I just finished, I think recently finished the uh, deliver 10 cargoes to the mine in Colorado or something. Yeah. Or no, from a certain mine. Wait, I gotta move these on. You, uh, because I, I got uh, the port of Seattle. Still need to do. Um, still need to do the other port in uh, Port Angels. I think Angels. Hmm. Angels. And, and I did a 400 mile over there, and I, you know, it said Port Angels, and I was like, oh yeah, go there. It didn't go to the port. Oh. It went to the, the uh, to a, a store to the left of the port. Yeah. Cause like I, I you can't zoom in the map when you're in the the freight market. You have to be yeah. in the map itself to be able to zoom in. Yeah. Or um, like you gotta like check yeah, that it, it goes it to the, the icon port. and stuff yeah. like that. But I swear to God, I thought it said that it was gonna go to the port, but I yeah. guess not. So. But I haven't been able to find anything that actually goes to said port or anything. Mm. Just, you know, like, yeah. It's just an air congestionator. It's one of those games that the achievement can take a very long time. Yep. Because you gotta wait. And then it's just like, like I had one where the shortest route to the thing that I needed was like 1200 miles. Yeah. And I was like, man. <laughs> They fucking take forever. Cause even like I will like there's nothing wrong with like twelve or six hundred or sixteen hundred but like I'd rather be in a call with somebody and sitting yeah. and talking. Then you know, I'm fine listening to music. talking. If it's just, just sitting there, yeah I can have a video in the background, but it's just like oh. Yeah. Like, oh man, I'm still at like four hundred miles left of this journey. Yep. 10 minutes have gone by, what's going on? Yeah, cause 600 miles I think I did last night. That ended up taking like a little under two hours for just the 600. Mm -hmm. So like I was doing 1200 and 1800. We'll be well past like four or five hours. And like I'm not sitting there driving a truck I mean say like it would be different if I had a steering wheel mm -hmm. because uh it's just it, my pinky still feels weird I mean it feels weird but like it's it's on the keyboard now yeah just whenever it's just awkward yeah it's like if I'm playing a shooter or I'm talking to somebody part of my brain is also being used when I'm also playing the game, you know, so I'm not concentrating. Or I'll, well, I'll better way to say this. You distracted? Yeah, I'm distracted. Yeah. I'm not, my mind's not running idle because I am talking most of the time. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also keeping my eye on the game. So I'm not paying attention uh -huh. to where my hands are. But when I'm playing by myself, yeah, I'm not. Uh, my eye, mine is running idle, and I am thinking like, oh man, my finger's so weird. Yeah. Man, it warmed up all of a sudden. Yep. My hands are so uh, cold. Because we're getting away from the water? Maybe. 
Yeah. Because technically, we're gaining altitude. Yeah. Maybe not by a whole big margin, and because even at the top of uh, Moose Mountain, it's like 2,400 feet of elevation. So it's not extremely massive. It ain't no Mount Holden or anything, but I mean, it's a lot higher than like Vermin's nose. Yeah. I don't know about Bald Mountain or that fire tower that we did with him. Uh -huh. So I got invited to the wedding of one of my friends, well more an acquaintance, but like he was part of the club I was in at Franciscan. So like I'm going to that in November. So that means I gotta get a suit because the one from high school barely fits. The height? Uh Wait. well it's like well the jacket is like kind of just tight uh, everywhere yeah and then the pants are like so, yeah, barely fitting around the waist muscle mass you're doing the test or something like that yeah i think also partly in the gut yeah but but actually i i lost a bit of weight i so after freshman year of college i was at like 160 which was insane i gained a lot of weight there i mean i usually say that though like yeah you gain the freshman weight yeah but partly from like you know the stress of moving and stuff like you're gonna gain weight from stress yeah plus the cafeteria food was absolute garbage <laughs> but anyway that's beside the point then i averaged out to like 150 for a while but now yeah. i'm down to like 143 145 so like 140 is where i want to be yeah yeah for your height that's yeah average Unless I gain more muscle mass, in which case I'm fine being a little heavier, but yeah, yeah. I have like no toning. Like my chest, non-existent. Uh, it's I re so fucking uh, hard to yeah. work out your chest. Like, I mean, I don't do fucking push-ups all the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, man, you'd think there'd be at least some, I mean, I guess there is no definition, but I can't really tell. Like, Bro, we gotta like, I don't know, go to the MVCC gym or something. Cause like, I think that's, I think they have one. Yeah, probably. yeah. Probably. Yeah. I, I, I think it's like free for people. I, I don't so. know. We'll just pretend you're a student. Yeah, I'm gonna like, not am. Now, since uh, I don't have the pen anymore, I don't have the 2010 Chevy, I don't have that sticker on the back uh, for a student. Yeah. I mean, I parked in the the AB lot yeah. without a sticker before, so... I, yeah, I know, I just, like, I... <coughs> they... I can't fake that I'm still a student here. Yeah. Like, if you see the car, which they don't usually... They don't they don't give you a sticker or anything like that. They just say, like, oh, it's easier if you get... Get that sticker. Yeah. It's easier for them to do that, so... <laughs> But like, yeah, maybe we could do some uh, bench press or something. That'll help the chest a lot. Yeah. I would like to do bench press and stuff, but I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm too, like, self-conscious to go to the gym alone, bro. I'm like, man, people going to be watching me, even though they're not. Because they take the same stuff. Yep, too. exactly. But like, hey. But if I go with friends, I have no problem because it's like, we're in this together, you know. So. I also have no idea where the gym is. It's um. So if you know, um, AB parking lot is the parking lot that's in front of the technology center, right? And then uh, the, yeah. Um, the, it's um, like the academic building and the technology center, I think, right? Like, and then it's behind. Yeah, the, the academic building is the, the gray concrete one, right? Uh, that no, the, uh, that's the library. Oh. The whitish color. The yeah, there's pillars outside. Yeah, that's the library. Okay, so the, the whatever parking lot, that's, <coughs> it's got three buildings. So it's got the gym, technology building, or, uh, library, uh -huh. the parking lot that's right there. 
The gym's right, right next to it. So the pool, place has got the pool. Dude, I've like never walked anywhere except for like the AB building yeah. and like the library. So I, I, I don't know. If you want one of these days, we can like, after my classes, we can just go there. Yeah. I just like check. Well, when's your classes? Um, so my last class ends at 2.30. Oh, yeah. Well, 2.20. But some days I have stuff after, which will last till like 3.30. That's fine, yeah. Yeah. So like, just... like even just like once a week, that'll definitely like... If we do like big weight, that'll grow mass. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm yeah. texting on Discord and yeah. Come up. I mean, three o'clock. I mean, I've been not re like not recent recently because I've been waking up so much earlier. Uh huh. Because of, you know, I'm in the car when it's sun Chevrolet. Yeah. And um. Fucking waking up so much early today or yesterday, thinking that it was gonna be done, hoping that it would be done earlier. And you know, the hike today, these have been waking up usually. Wake up at like 2 30, yeah, 3 o'clock. Right? Not anything to do when I need to work at 5. Uh -huh. so. But yeah, I mean, I know they got... I don't know if they have bench press ones in there. Surely they do if they're a college campus. Well, so, uh, I mean, maybe not. Like. I don't recall, because I've been in there once. Uh -huh. Once or twice. For uh, that health class I took. Uh-huh. Oh, I that reminds me. Got I got to do a health class. Yeah. Like I know they have a lot of they have a lot of treadmills. Yeah. They have some bikes. They have they have like like you know the pull up bars. Yeah. Or the pull down bars. The, like, Do they have loose weights? Um, maybe. <coughs> maybe. Yeah. When did they the bound to have? I can't remember. It's been a couple of years. It's been a year. Yeah. I mean. They, they probably have yeah. something, and if not, then, oh well. Yeah. I mean, your next class, I think you can just walk right in there. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how it works. I don't know if it's free. Um, I, I don't mean, know. The problem is, if you're a student there, and then, like, if you're going in there, you can just say, like, you know, I'm coming with you. Yeah. They shouldn't give a shit. And even then, I have my MVCC ID in my wallet, so I'm yeah. gonna say I'm like I'm not coming here actively right now, but yeah. I used to be a student, and then they'll be like, you know, well, we can't let none of our students in here. Okay. But I mean, like, it's a nice gym. Uh -huh. Cause we got TVs everywhere. <laughs> That's why it's nice. <laughs> well, we got a lot of TVs. They got a lot of treadmills. Yeah. yeah. I think they have a snack bar. I mean, they're advanced. Yeah. Well, I mean, it usually happens to college campuses. 